So now we are going to learn about divisions. So suppose you have a fraction which is 1 by 2 and you want to divide it into 4 equal parts. Right? So how much will it be? Let's first draw a picture. So I am drawing a circle and this represents half right and now we are dividing this half into four equal parts so these are four equal parts and now we have to find the value of one part out of these so to find the value of one part out of this I'll just extend these partitions and let's see how many equal parts the original figure gets divided into. Oh, it has got divided into 8 parts and the value of this one part is actually equal to 1 by 8. Right? So, half divided into 4 parts is actually equal to 1 eighth of the whole circle. Right? So, otherwise also in division what we do? In division, when we have 4 divided by 2, where this is called dividend and this is called divisor, we actually multiply the dividend, which is 4, by the inverse of the divisor, which will be 1 by 2. And then we solve it. So this will become 4 by 2 and this will be 2 to the 4, this will be equal to 2. Similarly, here 1 by 2 is dividend and 4 is the divisor. That means 1 by 2 will be multiplied by the inverse of divisor, which is 4 in this case. And inverse of 4 will be 1 by 4. And now if you multiply, you will get 1 1s are 1 and 2 4s are 8. So using this method also, you are getting the same result. What is the method? Method is multiply the dividend by the inverse of the divisor and then you will get the result. Right? In this case, we had one fraction and one whole number. And now if I take both of them as fractions and then we will see how to solve it. So suppose you have 3 by 4 and you want to divide it by 1 by 2, what you have to do? You have to multiply 3 by 4 by the inverse of 1 by 2 and the inverse of 1 by 2 will be 2 by 1 and this will give you 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 3 by 2. Right? Yes. Or suppose you have a fraction like 4 by 5 divided by 2 by 3 this will be equal to 4 by 5 multiplied by inverse of 2 by 3 which will be 3 by 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. 3 multiplied by 2 will give you 6 divided by 5. Right? And since here numerator is 6 which is more than 5, I will convert it into mixed fraction. 5 1s are 5. 6 minus 5 is 1 will give you 1 as a remainder and 5 will be denominator, right? So 6 by 5 can also be written as 1, 1 by 5. So this will be the result for 4 by 5 divided by 2 by 3, right? So these were the concepts about division.